out who can land what. It's going to be really important. And now for RNG, I mean, you have Wukong in the jungle, so they do just go into the Gwen. Something we've seen tried since the start of the split, try to match up into the Cassante pick. We didn't really have a lot of success at first. Three minutes 30. I am down for adding so more RNG and pissing people off, but Shadow, <laughs> we, need, we need to keep our eyes on him because he's not looking for... I mean, he is actually looking for RNG right now as a Breeze. Very far forward. Breathe. Yeah, he has popped his Ghost, as has Invincible. Breed's gonna have to be in a bit of a 1v2. No real way to get out of this one here. Gets hit by the Q. It's knocked back a little bit as well, and that should be a pretty easy first blood. Good pathing from Shadow. Completely skipped his top side camps to make Shadow that. doing a great job finding that first blood, but once that cease and desist comes online, which it looks like it should soon, that's when I'd really love to see him, especially hovering, but him really means anything, especially when he himself hasn't really been able to take turret plates, but... Which is how close they are to mid. This might be the only option, but they're going to get answered. Angel gets fully engaged the pawn here. They're going to try and maybe lose the Cyclone and disengage. As you can see there, Angel just keeps himself alive with the decoy as well. There's so many different versions of all the different champions in RNG. Turn that one right the way around. He getting control over mid lane because of that trade, and that means they're going to be able to pick oh. up the dragon to stop the stacking of RNG. Machine look. Look at the map, though. Look at Angel. Angel right now, he's on the hunt. Such a fun time <laughs> with it right now, you know? Let him let him have his moments. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Look at Tree, but he's a large saber tooth tiger. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of tigers here, as we can see Breed. Almost certainly going to be going down here. Just put himself into his own hallowed miss. Ooh, nice little fancy footwork there, but it's only a matter of time before the W gets popped. The Q comes in, the auto attacks do their job. Nice equalization of the kills here for NIP. Two to two. Green was losing out mid lane, so it took them so long to get it going, but. Uh, this time with Chihuahua having it. Oh, that was really, really nice. Gala will not be falling down. Botic actually might be losing his own life there. No oh. flash available to him. And Gala says, that's how you flash over the wall. It will be traded one for one. And the game will still remain an equal standing. Significant, I would argue. I request then. So for the dragon fight, can you cast it like an auctioneer? Oh, okay. You know what? If there's a fight, I'll try my absolute best. That's, a, that's an interesting challenge to kind of bring myself into this, but we're okay, going to go fight already. I'm going to try and make it work. We're going to see. No, I can't even start from that particular one. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> that, was no that one's ended. That was no fight. That ended. They get the pick onto way, but it was a little bit early. So TP's RNG coming in. now. Yeah, TP is there. That's going to be Dream Invincible on the flank there. Way a little bit isolated away from his team. They want to try and have a cake and eat it. We're going to see a... There's a straight up force from NIP coming out. No fight to be had, no yeah. options to be done. I heard I heard you building up into it as well. I was trying, I was trying, but it wasn't Shadow. to be. That's a black cleaver distance difference. You can see there Wei got a slowly taking more and more damage as his armor started to become shredded. Playing is his four man core. Trying to defend this mid lane with their lives right now. Again, Breathe getting caught out a little bit. He'll get knocked up, taken out. Nothing you can do. And this Gwen has been honestly not that great. It has really been exposed by NIP. It really hasn't done a hell of a lot of anything. And that way, in a hell of a lot of trouble. Does get caught up by the charm on the back end of that spirit rush, but nothing else comes of it. How in the hell did Angel land that one onto Dream? I'm not quite sure, but eventually. The mid lane tier one will be taken down. And this is kind of what we're going back to from earlier and saying that the ease feels like they want to contest. They want to try and look for something, but they just can't. Like, we've seen so little action. You haven't even been able to for force any summoners, right? So, oh, Shadow running in once again. I mean, Angel has to go golden. Shadow gonna go use his own stasis as well. Way using Cyclone to try and help out his mid laner, but he shall pay for the sins of Angel. It can be your angel or your devil, as we can see Gala horsing to kind of just completely disengage from Invincible, but we'll put down a fair bit of damage back into the top laner of NIP. And with that ghost kind of keeping them in a fairly decent move speed, we'll be wearing off just now, and Baron's going to be started off. It's a 4v5, Breed still has his ghost and his needlework, Invincible off on the side, Angel. Needs to be very careful as well of how he takes this fight. There is a Leandri's Torment, a Leandri's Anguish on Angel, so he will do damage, and speaking of doing damage, Baron down to 3,000, both that goes up into the feathers. They can try and maybe make this one work. He all out to bring Breed into the pit, but that's not what you wanted. Invincible delivered the top laner straight on top of the jungle, but a charm lands on the Gala, and that's going to be a huge saving base for NIP. It looks like they may have lost. They had his overzealous thinking that they could just do that without spite with three members in front of them, but point is, they were, they were uh, in an advantageous position. 
Very much so. Joe, he gets caught out by a little bit of CC. And that is the power of the LeBlanc. One small moment there for RNG to kind of... As a point where they have to go for it right now. They don't really have a choice. And already we're seeing an engage there onto Angel, who just get himself away invincible in the front line, but he can't really join back onto his team. Shadow jumping onto Breathe. But I don't think Breathe is the one you want now. Invincible dead. Your front line is very much diminished right now. And with Breathe just kind of keeping everybody away off the back of this pit, Photic flashes away. Shadow does as well, but Shadow getting snip, snip, snip. Just like paper and RNG just find themselves with a Baron. To be honest, finally a stopwatch for Wei, making it a little bit harder for him to be bursted out in this next potential fight. His soul available for NIP in 10 seconds, but they're just going to jump straight into Gala. They listened to your advice and they finally decided that they weren't going to throw all their resources at the very easily to kite away champions. But Breathe is on a side lane here with Baron and with the death cap, they will destroy towers. So, yes, you may lose the soul, but they're going to gain at least an inhibitor from this. And RG is still going to put some pressure on them. They're going to try and hover around, threaten the fact that they can look for a steal and keep them in the area. But Wait. this means NIP need to fight it to engage. All out goes in onto Ming, who flashes back over the wall to make sure he does not go down. The inhibitor has gone down on this. Breed is still going. Breed is ending the game. Breed is actually going to end the game. He's going to get a Nexus turret at least. Maybe even another one, as there's only Invincible to really deal with him right now. Everyone's trying to reset, but RNG are saying, look, if we can just keep everyone interested, we can end the game ourselves. Away with the fact that they got a flash, and I mean, hell, we're already halfway up to Shadow's cease and desist being back online. Oh, there's a flash in <laughs> with the charm. Way is dead. Uh, the TP coming in from Angel to make sure this Baron can... That Baron buff brings someone mid. Buff up that wave. Gargoyle Stone Plate now finished more invincible. Oh, they're looking for a TP. They're looking to try and catch him out on the side completely, and they should be able to do it. The redemption comes down just for a little bit more, and these staggered death timers means that RNG can't get themselves to a full 5v5. They can't even threaten with a flank. And that means that this is a very, very scary moment right now. It's still an Elder Flip as they kind of jump back straight and on the way. Not He's a flip dead. anymore. They don't flip anything because they're catching Gala out as well. He's trying to kite back with the Ghost as best as he possibly can. But Angel's just not a part of this. Angel hasn't been a part of this at all. And RNG are just getting destroyed. They're being pulled apart right now. And NIP, no playoffs, no pressure, no problem. We've seen overextensions, people walking up alone to get vision like way in uh, enemy jungle before, just constantly getting picked off by members of NIP, walking in solo, not really doing their due diligence. And Shadow now gonna just hunt down Angel. They're gonna be able to go for the end. They're going to be able to end the game. That's it. That is going to be game one, the NIP. It was slow. It was steady. There was definitely some mid-game blunders where the Gwen got out of hand. But NIP holding strong, having so many engage tools, so many ways to make the fight happen in their favor. And they will take down RNG in game number one. They'll lose Dream right at the end, but it doesn't matter. The result stays the same. And this is Ents and, and lane controlling and also objective controlling as well. And maybe NIP have a little bit of a response to that as well. A bit of sustain coming out here. And the Soraka is a bit of a silent carry in herself as well because just you don't really know you don't really notice the amount of healing and sustain she can yeah, get yeah, the I movie know exactly is, what you're talking about it, it, it's called legend i think i think it's called legend i could go yeah. one out of ten from their team to like a solid 7.5 out of 10. i didn't i thought you were gonna say who's gonna be the tom hardy but uh Looks like Wei's looking to try and make this one a little bit better for himself and his team. You are going to see the first blood going over. Wei taking the tower, though, means that he is going to fall straight away after. They do get trade of a one for one. They don't get Photic. Photic still has Flash. Angel coming in. Doesn't have the explosive cast. And the minion wave isn't in an ideal situation right now. The Elise is on Rift Herald, so there's not really an opportunity right now for folks to get any re you know, kind of resources thrown back onto him. It looks like he might just be going down fairly swiftly. He does have red buff, so you need to be a bit more careful of how you kind of want to approach this one here. We should see a little bit of a move there. No way for him to kind of bet react to that one there. Was waiting for the Gragas, got caught by Ming. A bit annoying once we get into these mid-game scenarios, but not quite yet. Oh, Fotic, gonna take some damage, but this is one of the powers of the Soraka. But we need to see who can find the engage. Cyclone's oh, up. stolen! Straight away, there's the Moonlight Vigil coming out to pepper down some damage, but like you mentioned, a little bit of that damage just kind of gets mitigated straight away, and that's a way just kind of straight up being... I don't even think he was outsmited. I think he just got caught by the Q. 
And then Dream able to use his ulti to make sure that they aren't able to find a re-engage and aren't able to get anything off the fact that they have position to be able to nice turn invincible. <laughs> He's <is> just gone! <laughs> My like that move, to be honest with you, from NIP, they weren't really in position to kind of go for it. Really don't want to be going into a fight like that uh, without the flashes of, uh, of Dream and Vince. Like you mentioned, two Drakes. Get some priority up that top side. Um, and they will lose the tower. And or, sorry, the tower will be TP2, but you may be losing more than just a tower here as Angel. Has got the explosive cast and plenty of people here really love that flash coming in from Shadow just to secure absolutely everything. Dream picks that one up and again Shadow coming out big here for NIP. Gonna be able to make sure that they not only find a kill but also get a turn off the back of it. RNG responding bot lane. What do you think about that? First, you know, 1100, 1100, uh, no, Bree. Oh. He gets himself knocked back, goes all out, flash from Invincible and a wish and a dream. And that is NIP picking himself another kill on that side lane. This is the power. Stacked up. Going to be putting out some pretty nice damage. Oh, they've caught out way. He is going to be going down straight away. RNG getting caught out again and again. Look out for them. They almost ended up giving RNG, you know, a favorable fight had it not been for a stray charm. But they're going to look for it once again. He was trying to find him, but Breed has already caught himself on some vision. They do get some damage in the photo. It goes up into the feathers flying. You can see their Dream putting out some decent sustain. They get the Baron secured. And everyone starts to run themselves away. RNG, they didn't really know what they wanted to go for right there. Flash for Flash. Angel can't find that one. Breed looking for Shadow. We will secure it. But it's a one for the Baron. RNG were so spree there. NIP could just forget about this if they don't really want to go for it. But they're looking to fight. They are, we need to keep our eyes. Gala has no flash, but neither does Bojic. So both AD carries are vulnerable. Bojic also oh. doesn't, oh. Shadow does flash in, doesn't get the steal off there. It looks like Invincible's gonna be taken out straight away off this fight. Waze, clone, does plenty of disengage. The Moonlight Vigil lands onto Shadow. They're gonna push in this wave, and some members of RNG might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, Breed's been caught out, doesn't get hit by the cocoon. Shadow goes into stasis as immediately Dream flashes forward, knowing he gets the reset there from getting the Buster Bomb down. Ooh! But enough damage comes out from Breed to make sure he trades it back one for one. That NIP gonna at least be able to get this turret. You can see them having push in mid, so they should be able to rotate, reinforce their Tristana, and maybe even look for more off this, but looks like the wave had already gone in. Shouldn't be too much unless the pick comes out, Shadow? Side Shadow, those side step but takes a hell of a lot of poke afterwards. Remember, he still has a Soraka, so he's happy to kind of so be... point. That's going to put NIP up here onto three dragons, and this is just going to be much easier for NIP to control this area again. And I, I thought they were potentially going to try and play around like Jace poking out. You have a bit of disengage with Angel and like you kind of enable Gala, but the, the build that the Jace has gone, they're playing for these brawls, they're playing for these skirmishes, trying to bring NIP in. Angel, low much damage on the hit, he's dead! Shadow's in the pit, Shadow the steals! Steal. And NIP, and everything the wish comes out, as you can see Invincible trying to jump on his AD carries, he wants Fosik, but Fosik goes a little bit too far forward! It ends up being a two for two trade with the Baron to NIP and the Dragon, they get oh, wow. <laughs> We like to have fun here on this broadcast, we'll see Invincible take the tower, get a double knockback as well, go all out onto Breed, who wants to try and keep himself alive with the Gore Drinker, but just cannot be done. Feathers being lined onto the ground. NIP are now the biggest RA fans, or RA are the now the biggest NIP fans, as they are going to be keeping RA in the playoff race. And RNG, they take a little bit of a slip. This could be a massive blunder for them. Come on, Kala. You can do this. You, you don't have flash ups, but you have the Moonlight Vigil. It goes in. It doesn't connect to anything. It's up to way. Up this it's is working, all man. up to way. You can <laughs> we do a need big Dagda, the RNG. member Cyclone. It's no longer here. <laughs> An NIP. I just what? picking apart the base. They won't end the game right now. Let's say RNG lose this and they beat RA and they do make the playoffs. Like <laughs> Overkai Brothers. But hey, NIP now going for Baron once again. I this they're just gonna get this, aren't they? RNG aren't yeah. gonna RNG's gonna run away. I mean invincible oh, gets a knockback though! Way did get himself away, but Angel was not so lucky. Ooh. They almost get invincible down. The wish comes out, and your dreams shall come true. Dream is looking for an angle.
Gala needs to be the carry of this game. I even love that he has to go Kemp Punk Chainsword because, or excuse me, not the Kemp Punk Chainsword, the Mortal Reminder, because he knows that he needs some kind of healing reduction here, even if it's not the most efficient thing in the world. But now without Angel, without Reedy, you're kind of second form of engage. You're going to lose out a lot. The feathers will fly. Both are looking for Gala, but Gala keeps himself hiding backwards, but Invincible's already on his face. And that is most of your damage already deleted from this match. It will be NIP with the 2-0. The upset shall continue, Lyric. EDG yesterday, NIP today, and RA are the biggest of NIP fans right now because they are keeping Rare Adam alive in playoffs. Giving them a solid hope to be able to make it. NIP, their split might be done, but still having a massive impact on the standings. And I mean, again, this is one of those teams that didn't have this roster to start off the split. They made some roster changes. They kind of waited and, and saw...